Hello, I'm Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. These videos are a way for you to watch some teachings on different spiritual practices and principles and philosophies, and then share them with your family when it works for you. Please make sure that you click on subscribe below so that you're notified when more videos are posted. If you are here in the Seattle area and would like to join us, we offer in-person youth programming on Sundays at 11 for kindergarten up. Today we are finishing up our month of Muslim foundation and today is generosity. And we're taking this from the Golden Thread of Truth curriculum. So <clears throat> today we're focusing on the saying that it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. So Muhammad was not the only master teacher who really encouraged good deeds in a person's life and helping those less fortunate. And by doing that, according to Muslim beliefs, um, God is interested in that pious, righteous person who is doing good deeds on this earth. And should they do that, Muhammad has said that that will lead that person to paradise. So here at the center and in Science of Mind, we like to say that heaven can be on earth for us right now. So I've got a little story for you to talk about that feeling of giving rather than receiving. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's about a student walking through a field with his professor. And they're walking along this path and the student sees a pair of shoes and they notice a worker out in the fields quite a distance away. And the student says to the professor, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we hid his shoes and then let's hide and see how he responds. And the professor paused for a moment and said, why don't we put some coins in his shoes and hide and see how he responds? So that's what they did. They put coins in each shoes. So the worker comes back from the field, pretty tired and dirty and goes to put on his shoe. Kind of stops and feels something hard and look and there's a coin. Puts on his other shoe, same thing, another coin. So he gets down on his knees with the coins in his hand and just thanks the Lord, thanks God, thanks Allah for this amazing blessing that has been received. So the professor says to his student, how did that make you feel? And the student was pretty much in tears and said, oh my goodness, that was amazing. And he said, well, how would you have felt had you played your trick? Well, that got the student thinking and he realized that it is better to give than to receive. So with generosity, we don't have a, an official craft today, but something that you might want to do with your family is go, perhaps if you can, go buy an um, inexpensive bouquet of some flowers and just hand a flower to people that you meet on the street or your neighbors or people at your um, gathering place, you know, if you're doing sports. You could also just hand out pennies or nickels, whatever works for you. But really get your children interested into what that feels like, being able to give just a little something and see how that might brighten someone's day. Here at the center, there's a terrific book that I like to use called The Giving Book. And not only is it good for children, it's a really good reminder for us adults because we're not just like, oh, you've got a tithe. That's not what it's about. It's how can you use your time, talent, and treasures to be a benefit to the world? Like we say here, to be a force for good in the world. And I'll put the link to the book below. Um, it talks about a variety of different ways where you can be giving. And that's the message of today, because if we're united as one in our giving, just think of the effects that we can do when we can help uplift those less fortunate than us, Way to go. 
So that's what I would like for you to encourage your family to think about and act upon. Let me know below how it goes. I'd love to see your comments and holler if you have any questions. Thanks for joining in. Thank you.